Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today we are here with the decklist that I used to have the full power Neo Blue Eyes Galaxy ne no, full Neo, Neo Galaxy Eyes Dragon, sorry <laughs> um, um, I made the mistake actually because I'm with Seta so it could have been Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon actually so as you may have seen from the thumbnail and you can imagine uh, with me using Seto, I'm using a blue eyes deck to bring out that big boy with its full power and it's not that good as I hope he could have, he, he would have been. So before jumping right into it guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So. Here we set a guy, of course, hand this skill, ultimate dragons. Now, it, it for more more than fifty percent, it is a standard blue eyes deck, but we have some addiction. So, starting with, of course, the fact that I need to use the Maladio Awakening Dragon right here because I wanna await to have the Galaxy Eyes for the dragon because. Uh, some of you uh, maybe do not do not know this, but you can add your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon with Melody Awakening Dragon. So basically, with this spell card, you can add both your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon and your Chaos Dragon Living Here. So and that is a lot of fun. So the Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is pretty cool, but it, it's not that good as I as I hope it will have been because. He negates the effects of all the other face-up cards on that moment when you summon him. So he's, he, if he just has a set card and if, if he, he flipped up that set card after the summon, you're just screwed and your big boy of 4500 is gone. <laughs> and it takes a lot of effort to, to, to actually summon him. But, you know, my purpose right now was um, to summon him with this full power and that's exactly what I did so as you can imagine guys the whole decks the, the whole deck of, of course focuses on bringing out three level 8 on the field and you have different ways of course we've got the engine that led us to add the, the blue eyes to our hand thanks to the white stone legend or to summon the big boys out on the field with the stone of ancients and then the, the the choice is is easy i mean uh, you want to have a couple of blue eyes on the field uh, or maybe just a blue eyes and a monster a couple of monsters you like to summon your galaxy eyes photon dragon so you can uh, both summon him by tributing just a couple of monsters as tribute summon or you can special summon him by tributing two monsters that have uh, uh, two, 2,000 or more attacks, so just two blue eyes, and so that you still have your uh, normal summon. Then you wanna and you wanna get rid of the back rows, ideally with your cast dragon legionnaire by banishing maybe a Karibo or one of the legionnaires if you have just discarded it with your dark board dealings. And then you wanna uh, have you wanna special summon your blue eyes at white dragon. Maybe pop a monster, I guess, and you have one, two, three on the field, three level eight, Neo Galaxy Eyes for the Dragon on the field to finish your opponent. Uh, of course, we have a couple of Kuribo, both as a defense, and uh, that cannot be, you know, wiped up by a Cyclone or whatever, a Typhoon. And also because it's something that you can easily discard to have your uh, your cast dragon legionnaire to to use its effect but keep in mind guys that you um, do not have your um, dark monsters on the field uh, sorry in the grave and you do not have uh, your alternative white dragon in your hand to to summon you can also uh, you you could just need your galaxy Ice photon dragon and your gas dragon Livenir for the summon. Why? Because you can after that you summon your galaxy Ice photon dragon, you're gonna have you're gonna likely have a blue eyes in the graveyard, so you can summon your Livenir by banishing only light monsters, and then you can use its effect to special summon a monster from your graveyard, and you can choose of course. A blue eyes white dragon so you're gonna hand up anyway with three level eight on the field and one of them being galaxy eyes for the dragon so that you have your full power near galaxy eyes for the dragon so is it worth it in a competitive way no it's not is it fun oh yes it's definitely tons of fun especially if you like the archetype of course and if you enjoy blue eyes it's even more funny 
and there's nothing else my boys these are uh, uh, of course just for drawing into the you know the piece of the combo that you miss and of course to help you send this big boy this little guy actually into graveyard um maybe you know um uh, to accomplish the requirements the the, the the right amount of monsters you need to special summon your levianir so this definitely helps and that's all guys Ultimate Dragons, I mean, you can use it just to to bring out your Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon or whatever. Of course, we cannot use Ezreiz, that could have been a good option just because he special summoned Blue Eyes back on the field. But we can't, and if we have to choose, it's be definitely better to have the Melody so that we can search for anything we miss right here. Of course, the replacement is Soda Spark Dragon that can avoid distraction for the effect of the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. So guys, that was all. I hope you enjoyed the, all the explanation and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. Uh, mirror match, ultimate dragons against ultimate dragons. It's into start and we got a pretty good hand. So just a set monster, so this actually should, uh, should be a stone. Let's see what we got. We draw blue eyes, fine, Melody Awakening Dragon, discarding the Karibo so that we just have, you know, uh, the the Dark Monster for the Levianir summon that we're gonna that we're going to add thanks to the Melody Awakening Dragon. Then cards have consonants. Then you go to draw a couple and we actually draw the uh, the the last piece of the puzzle, the Galaxy Eyes for the Dragon. So first, special summon with Blue Eyes alternative. Then White Stone of Ancient in the end phase is going to bring out a Blue Eyes. I didn't attack, of course, because I expected this to be a stone. And in fact, it was a stone. Then Maiden, Sage, and so a lot of Blue Eyes are coming right here. Definitely a lot of Blue Eyes. There you go. Uh, then. Double blue eyes and the stone. Is it going to synchro summon? No, he went for the blue eyes twin burst dragon and he pops both my dragons. So, actually, pretty tough to deal with, but it's not over, of course. We've got the perfect pick for our cards of consonants. First, we recycle the blue eyes alternative white dragon, then cards of consonants to draw two. Actually, not nothing really good. Uh, we draw just one because we needed the the fuel for the uh the Levianir summon and there you go first uh, first uh, the skill for the uh polymer to add the polymerization from uh from nowhere and there you go another dark war dealings first summon blue eyes alternative white dragon the pop the blue eyes twin burst dragon but he has the deep eyes so pretty actually unexpected so deep eyes is here and he has 3000 attack but it's not that we're fine polymerization to summon the blue eyes twin burst dragon why guys because i needed right here another monster with more than two their 2000 attack so that i can special summon my galaxy eyes that was the purpose and there you go galaxy eyes tributing those then banishing only light monster to summon the Vianir, use its effect to summon a monster from my grave of course i'm gonna summon another blue eyes tree level eight XC summon Neo Galaxy Eyes Food and Dragon is here in all his full power, negating all the effects on the field. So Deep Eyes becomes a zero attack monster and go for the finish. There you go. That's how you use Neo Galaxy Eyes Food and Dragon in the most spicy way ever. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.